Not dead pixel. Not dead pixel. Uh, fixed pixel was there for a second again. Weird. Hmm. Anyone want to have any ideas how to get rid of a fixed pixel? Is it? Uh, it's not bugging me. It's at the bottom of the screen, and sometimes it just flickers. Uh, but if you know how to get rid of it, please let me know. But that's not what we're talking about right now. Hello, YouTube. This is Sanjay here, and welcome back to another Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about uh, a Python concept called dictionaries. Now, a dictionary is basically like a list. It has the same fancy, fancy methods of a list, well, most of them. And it's just like a list, except it has keys and values. A key is like an index, except a key is a string or a number. Actually, no, I think it has to be a string. So you would have a dictionary called player, and you would have name, and you would have it aim in the great. And then to access that value, you wouldn't use player zero, you would use player name. You access it with the key, you don't access it with an index, because you can't ac access it with an index, because it doesn't really make sense when you should access it with a key. And then the key gives you the value. It's like opening a chest, you use the key to unlock the chest, and then all the gold inside the chest would be like the, the value, and then you get the value because you've used the key to access the chest. If that's a an understandable analogy for you, that's a very weird analogy, like, but... Anyway, let me just show you what it is. Uh, dictionaries have a sort of JSON-like format, if you've ever worked with JSON, which I don't think you probably would have. Um, but, you know, if you're watching this tutorial and you're a beginner, you probably haven't used JSON. But if you have, all well and good. You probably know what I'm talking about. But if you don't, you're just confused and you're like, what the heck are you on about? Just show me how this works. Okay. Player equals name. Amon the great uh, gold, and that's going to be 5,000 gold. Age is 14, and that's it. No, I would not like the bat. So now that we have our dictionary defined, what we should do is um, try and access one of the values. So what we will do is say print player, and if we try to say access the player with zero it will say key error zero because there is no key with the value zero so you will say name and it's given the great so what exactly do we do well up here we defined the uh, dictionary's name set it equal to and then we use curly braces to define what to define where the uh, dictionary begins and ends what we do is we say we give it the key name and then we use a comma or not a comma, a colon, colon separated, and then we use a space, well I don't think we need a space, no we don't, but you know it's good to use a space because then it's more readable, uh, so the key, and then we use a colon, and then after this uh, we define, we give a string, a number, or a function, or a class, object, or whatever, we give whatever value we possibly can, that is a first class, that is known as a first class value, a first class uh, item, I guess. Anyway, that's a concept for another uh, tutorial. Anyway, you can give in strings, numbers, whatever. As long as it's a value that is first class. Which means it can be passed in as a, an argument. Anything that, be, that can be passed in as an argument to a function can be passed in as a value to a dictionary. Yeah. So, we use a colon and then we give it the, the key, we give the key a value and then we use a comma to define another key value pair. This is what is known as a key value pair. We define another key value pair and then we define another key value pair. And we can say print player uh, gold print player age. Aim in the great 540. Now, uh, you can't access the uh, the key using the value because that just doesn't work. It, it accepts a uh, it accepts a key to get the value using the bracket notation. That's what that's known as a bracket notation, I believe. But what we can do is we can use a for loop for uh, i in player dot items. Print uh, for actually this will be key value print key 
and then value. It will say age is 14, name is Eamon and gold is 5000. So uh, items basically just returns, uh, uh, it returns a key and a value and then we're just using them here. Yes, so it basically just returns uh, a key and a value in a uh, list, in a, uh, a, a two separate value. So we store the values here, we store the first value that it returns, which is the key, in a temporary variable up here called key, same with value, except that just comes after. So we store the value as the value, as the temporary variable value, which is the second thing it returns. That's why we put it in second. I'm not sure why it returns it in this order. I researched it a lot, I researched it a lot whenever I was learning Python and after Python and I can't find a very good reason about why it returns it in this order, but it does, it's returning it out of order, I'm not sure why, it's not even reverse order, it's like weird order, but if you happen to know, you'll be teaching me something, uh, let me know in the comments why it returns it in this order, I just noticed something, this is completely out of the ordinary, but look up here, it says that my MacBook is 97, 97% charged, but over on my MacBook, behind my mic, which you actually can't see, uh, it, the light is green. Just let me, no, I'll not even, I'll not even dare do that. I was going to say, let me un uh, unplug it and plug it back in, but that might turn off the monitor, and that wouldn't be a good thing. And that is not what we're discussing today. We're discussing Python, the, one of the best programming languages in the world, next to Java and Ruby, because they're awesome languages. You should learn them right now anyway um yeah so uh items it's just like uh range is a bit slower in python 2.7 than uh you know items is slow just like x range is to range or just like range is to x range you should use x range in python 2.7 since it's a little bit faster and the same should be done here for player.items, except you don't use xrange, you use a thing called iter items. And that basically does the exact same thing, except it's a little bit faster. Uh, that might be incorrect as well, but as far as I know, it is a little bit faster to use iter items and xrange uh, when possible in 2.7. I'm not sure that iter items exists, or maybe even items doesn't exist. One of the two I don't think exists in Python 3.x.x, but feel free to prove me wrong. And it'll be actually greatly appreciated if you did, because then I will put it in, it in the description and give you credit and stuff if that is incorrect. But anyway, that is it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Greatly appreciated. Uh, share it with your friends if you think that they might find it useful, even if they have prior programming knowledge. They just might need to brush up their knowledge in dictionaries or something. Uh, but yeah, until then, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next tutorial.